Hi guys, so for the third drill of the week for the kickboxing guys, we need a piece of paper. So I've got a sheet of A5, really doesn't matter if it's A5, A4, uh, anything smaller could be a little bit difficult. If you've got someone helping you with this, uh, just make sure that they're not holding the paper near or in front of any body parts because we're going to be throwing uh, jabs especially at this. Uh, if you've got a, a washing line, what we can do, put a piece of string through the paper and then hang that over the washing line. You want it to be around about your kind of punching range, so about there. Um, if you weren't into um, fight someone who's specifically shorter or tall, you could obviously amend it there. So I'm going to use Marie for this. So I'm going to use this just to get used to jabbing first of all. So I may do like 10 of these just to get going. So getting my jab range without moving forward, just hitting that jab nice and sharp. Turn that fist over a little bit, keep a slight bend on the elbow. Okay, so after you've done that, you can then start looking at some of the cool stuff that Matt Immen's been putting up on, um, on Facebook, especially around the false distance. This is where you're throwing a punch purposely shorter than what is your normal range to get someone into a pattern and get them used to thinking that your, your, your punch or range isn't as long as it actually is. So we can do this and it's really important we don't step in on that last shot when we throw a proper jab, yep, by throwing a punch at false range, so short, yep, so it's not a, it's not a faint, so a faint's kind of here, false range is kind of there, full jab's there. Okay, so make sure you're just not throwing a faint because that's not quite what we're after. We're looking at just a little bit longer, like we're trying to trick them to come in a bit closer so when that jab does snap in, it's really powerful. So don't step in on it like so, throwing that false, false, jab range. False, false, jab range. And then if Marie moves around a little bit, this is where then I have to kind of work out where my jab range is. So there, yeah. See, I'm not moving forward. That's really important. It's not a step-in jab. It's not a push jab. It's not any of those. We're setting a different distance. Okay. 